in this lesson i will explain how to write a professional email writing emails is a crucial component of business communications if recipients of your email do not find your message or proposition interesting getting a response from them is difficult you should practice your email writing skills simple and unambiguous email communication is best kind like formal and informal letters emails can be casual and professional depending on the type of email you are writing the format varies spelling and grammar accuracy are important considerations anatomy of a good email every email you write has same basic structure subject line greeting email body and closing but as with every written form of professional communication there is a right way to do it and standards that should be followed here's how to write a proper email subject the most crucial element you should carefully examine is the subject line because it will be the first thing everyone who receives the email will see additionally it impacts whether the recipient will desire to open the mail a poorly crafted or generic subject line like hi or you don't want to miss this can deter the reader and result in your email landing in the spam folder after subject the next important part is greeting it is appropriate to greet or salute the recipient the greeting creates a connection the appropriate salutation depends on the situation if you are writing a formal email to a bank or government institution it would be better to start with dear and the name of person there's also to whom it may concern when you are sending an email to a group email and not sure who will be reading it if you are sending an email to someone you know or work in a casual environment then it is perfectly fine to go with a hi and name of person or a hello and the name of person to help you out here is a list of salutations you can open in your emails dear and the first name of person or the name of person good morning good afternoon next part is the body the body of email states what the email is about be specific about what you want the recipient to understand it must have a clear and specific purpose it should also be concise make sure you have written all you want to say simply avoid using informal language avoid using trite terminology or repetition of words keep it brief that way people will be more inclined to read it rather than skimming it and risking missing critical information for emails requiring more length and detail keep them as focused as possible nobody wants to receive a novel you want to keep it between 3 4 or 5 lines of text use regular font size and style then check final grammar and spelling checking and proofreading closings finally sign off the email on a polite note and proofread it before hitting send the closing should feel genuine only then will the receiver want to respond you can choose from some of the most common closing lines below sincerely best regards warm regards warm wishes kind regards kind wishes thank you take care respectfully all the best Thank you for watching this video.